this down quickly. The Zindik Ali and his rebels have attacked the garrison. Request reinforcements. Seal the letter. When the door is breached, find a way through and deliver it to the Khalifa. On your life! Yes, Saidi. from an eagle who fell out of the sky. A symbol of freedom. A word you did not use often. And never will again. Oh. So this is freedom. Yet, I do not see any way out.
we'll have to fight our way out. Our revolution begins now! With me! This may not be good. Hey. Hold on. We are die, dog! <laughs> I love fighting oh, you are. Where can you to? There you are. That is it. Let us get out of here. Follow me. Stay close. You think what you mean by freedom? Rolling our way out of a garrison. Why? Like the stomach for an honest fight? No, I just prefer an honest assassination. Rest in peace. You die now! Can you not see for yourself? This is a good day. I will meet you at the bureau.
لكن الامر شائع If you mention the cat, he will come. And here he is. Go softly, come softly, so the cat does not gore you. You have honored your word. But he flies dead, and all who hear of it, hear of me. I regret we could not save Beshi. He was a brave man. Already they tell his story throughout Baghdad. He will free more by his death than he did in life. Freedom has a price. The only question is whether we will pay it. Beshi was proud to. I have much to do. I would wish peace upon you both, but we know that is not in your future. Nor mine. I fear Ali is right. Nothing will stop his rebellion now. Maybe nothing should. The things he says. At the garrison, we saw Wasif arguing with Governor Muhammad ibn Tahir. Muhammad? That is odd. I will keep eyes on him. Araka lahikan. I cannot keep them waiting. Are they aware, your companions, that their hunter is hunted in his sleep? If it were in my sleep alone, I could bear it. But it followed when I fled Anbar. Now it stalks me when I slay those I hunt. The ones from the palace, in the masks. Four are dead at my hand. The last, the head of the snake. We'll join them soon. Why slit its throat when you could loosen its tongue? What? Why would I... The jinni only struck in sleep. It never dogged you by the day until you reached into that chest. The masked ones prize what lay within. The ancient object that woke at your touch. They may hold more answers living than dead. I hunt my enemies. I do not break bread with them. I took an oath, Nihal. How can you hunt when you are hounded? If you could walk the dark unburdened, you could better serve the light. I stay my blade from the flesh of the innocent, not from the order of the ancients. If you will not ask your foes, then at least ask your friends what slept in that chest and why they sought it. My companions wait for me at the Harbiya Bureau. Clear your mind, Basim. Focus on the task before you.
Peace, friend. There he is, the young lion. I have something for you. Oh, a good harvest. Nicely done. Are you sure you know how to use these? Peace, my friend. Until we meet again, Basim. Inshallah. You took your time. Did you wait up, master? I wait for no man. You look tired. Nothing a little adventure won't fix. What news? Ali thinks the time is right to attack the palace. The Oyun are distracted and the people divided. Divided how? Some are claiming the new Khalifa stole the throne from Abu Abdullah, son of al mutabakil what do you know of him? Little. He was there at the palace, the night his father. The night I reached into that chest. Master, have we learned anything more about the object within? Why do you ask? It seems a shame we know so little about something the Order prized so much. Should we not seek to know our enemies better, the better to defeat them? Arhaban Basim, have I interrupted? No. We must turn to the task at hand. Of course, Abu Abdullah. Rebecca tells me you have met his mother, Qabiha. I did. I think she could be first among our foes. She, or Arib the poet, or Muhammad the governor. All three had ties to our enemies. Muhammad ibn Tahir. His cousins govern the land on which Alamut sits. Their protection is all that shields us from our enemies. I cut our enemies' legs beneath their master. Let me strike while their stumps are bloody. I will unmask them and learn their intent. Basim is right. We must act swiftly. Go to the Round City. Investigate all three, but take no further action. Reports back to me atop the house of the previous hill. If speech is silver, then silence is gold. 
the board. Vulave, my finder of facts, my fielder of questions. How can I be of help, Basim? Tell me about Arib. Her words were a scripture to members of the Order. A gifted artist and poetess, Arib won her freedom through her skill. Tabit tells me she keeps a luxurious home in the Round City. Anything else? What do you know of Kabiha? She had ties to the treasurer. Born to slavery, Kabiha rose to become Al Mutawakil's favorite concubine in the harem. Yet her son was not made Khalifa, leaving her future uncertain. Anything else? Tell me about the governor. I saw him give orders to Wasif at Turkey. Muhammad is one of the Tahirids, powerful viceroys of the Khalifas in Persia. He governs all Baghdad from his seat at the courts. Anything else? Where can I find our suspects? All three live within the glorious round city, the power center of the Abbasid Khilafah. Anything else? Shukran, Fulav. and concubine. I will soon know which one wears the mask. What beautiful homes! Far different from the slums of Anbar.
Let us hope she is home. You will not buy me from my guests. This is my house. Bought with my generosity. Bought by my genius. For tokens, favors, and personal dedications, you may find Sayyida Arib in the garden after her recital. Good day. You must be her patron. It is an honor, Sayyidi. If I may, I seek a private audience with the poetess. Do you? I have been moved beyond words by her... words. Symmetry of sky and sea. I only wish to express my sincere admiration. Pretty words. Nearly as pretty as hers, and just as false. We both know what mask she wears, don't we? Mask, Saidi. Enough, Saidi. I know what you are, and I know why you've come. You think I haven't seen you skulking in the shadows. She's no longer party to your plots, your secret meetings, your foolish nicknames. I have scrubbed her clean of them. For I have set a watch on her door. My men dog her recitals. Every letter she's had of you I have shredded or sent back. Sent back? You will find them piled at the postal bureau. Burn them. Bury them. Do what you will. You can choke on them for all I care. 